Hi, this is Ray from Whitney Automotive, and this is a 2006 Mazda 3 that we picked up as a trash to treasure project. It wasn't very expensive. I know it needed a lot of work going into it, but we discovered a lot more things that were wrong with it on our way home. So please join me and my daughter as we picked up the car and we drove home in it today on Ray's driveway. So we just bought this car. Hold on, you probably can't see what I'm saying. So, so we just bought this car. Uh, it was fifteen hundred dollars. They told me the the heat didn't work, which it didn't, and uh, it's uh, according to this, it's four degrees Celsius. So it's a little cold outside. Just noticed that there's some wires sticking out here. <laughs> didn't really notice that before. I mean, I noticed all this, all these trim pieces are missing, but the wires worry me a little bit. Granted, I've never used a GoPro before. This is new to me, as you can probably tell. Watch you not be filming any of this. Huh? Watch you not be filming any of this. I probably am not filming any of this, in which case I'm talking to myself, which is good practice for the rest of the videos we're going to make. It sounds like I'm in a helicopter when I get going. Now, this isn't a helicopter. Uh, this is a Mazda 3. The girl I was following just went the wrong way, so now I have to turn around. It's been a long and dangerous journey. <laughs> I feel like it's been eight years. Unfortunately, we didn't pack enough rations for the trip. So what are these wires for? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> these wires. Are... These people ordering. What, what are they order in front of us? Why is this taking so long? It took this time last time we would get ice cream. Oh. Because they like have to fry it right there. They have, they to, have like... to milk the cow. Yeah, and then, and they, then have they have to, to kill the cow. <laughs> If you're making ice cream, why are you killing cows? So you can make the meat. What kind of ice cream you have? You got meat in your ice cream? That's giant. What, the glove box? Yes. It's got a great glove box in this thing, huh? That's Look so it. so deep. I could probably fit your head in there. We're not going to get in there. Get in the glove box. Headliner looks a little, little, uh, a little. It looks like it has cancer, honestly. What? Um, it doesn't look that, it looks kind of gross. <laughs> it needs to be cleaned. I saw the ad for that turbo sprayer thing, tornado sprayer on the phone. Yeah. We need to try, I'll buy one of those, we'll try that. That'll be uh, on the coming installment of Whitney Automotive YouTube channel. Dash, everything needs to be put back together. It looks like somebody that didn't know what they were really doing started to take things apart. And that's fine. So uh, like you? Well, well, <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Okay. No, that's not like me. I know what I'm doing. You can follow my videos. Like and subscribe follow to Follow my videos. Follow them? Follow follow me on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Something Sounds like, like that. the Judge Judy thing. My thing goes, look us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Does it say that on Judge Judy? Yeah. You watch too much Judge Judy then. Uh, they also told me it stalls and stops sometimes and we're sitting in traffic uh, stop and go right here in a minute about to hit the brakes uh, So we'll Shut up you radio it just Oh great the radio doesn't even turn off <laughs> Found a whole nother problem radio doesn't turn off so we'll look into that um, as well <laughs> God what the hell did I just buy? <laughs> I don't... Well the car hasn't broken down yet, which what? is good yeah. uh, We're not home yet I'm getting a headache from you know the the cigarettes that are in the, the cigarette smell. Okay. <laughs> the difference between the odometer and the oil change sticker. Uh, there's only about mm, I don't know forty thousand miles overdue for an oil change <laughs> according to this, and it says at Midas we do that. So. Uh, at Midas, they probably did an oil change, I'm guessing around 127,000 miles, and uh, we're at 170. Maybe they were doing their own oil changes and it just didn't get uh, a new oil change sticker. It's a possibility. But I guess we'll find out. So uh, hang with me, subscribe to this channel, and we'll, uh, we'll go through it step by step and see what we wind up with at the end. So that was our ride home. We discovered a lot of things that this vehicle needed that we didn't really know about before buying it. Granted, I knew I was buying a project. I'm not really scared by any of it. We know we have some fan or blower motor resistor work to do. The car needs some engine mounts really bad. It shakes like a leaf. 
Um, we've got interior trim pieces that need work. The suspension is completely shot. We'll be doing struts and shocks on this thing as well. So if any of those are topics that you're interested in looking out for on your Mazda 3, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can get updated when we add these videos. Also, if there's anything you need to do on your Mazda 3 and you'd like us to make a video on it, Maybe I could do it on this one. If I see some comments below of people asking for something in particular, I'm likely to make them. So thanks for watching. This is Ray's Driveway.